Hi everybody and welcome to another episode of EV Unite. In this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to install and set up the ChargePoint HomeFlex EV charger that I've got right here in my hands. So it's gonna be installed on this wood panel right in between the two garage bays. This is part of a video series. So in the first video, I did an unboxing of the product and I showed you everything that comes with the unit. In this video, I'm showing you the installation and setup with the mobile app. And then in the final video, I'm gonna give you my reviews and do a demonstration of the product charging a Tesla Model Y. So if you're interested in electric vehicle content, then please consider subscribing to the channel. If you have any questions or comments, please leave those in the comments section below. And without further ado, let's get started. The ChargePoint HomeFlex is considered a level two home charger that charges at 240 volts and the amperage is configurable in the mobile app up to 50 amps. The plug is either a NEMA 14-50 or NEMA 6-50 plug and you have the option when you're purchasing it for either depending on your home setup and your electrical network. The charging cable is 23 feet long and that gives you plenty of length to reach from the charger to your vehicle. You can choose to run the wire from the electrical panel to the location you're gonna be mounting the charger yourself. But if you're not comfortable doing electrical work, then I would definitely recommend hiring an electrician for this step. Now, before we get started at all with the installation, you wanna make sure that you have a safe working environment. So the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is shut the breaker off at the panel. That way there's no live power and you can make sure that you're safe the entire installation. So let's go ahead and do that step now. So one question you might have is where's the best location to mount the charger? I actually have an entire separate video that I'll link below in the description where I explain in more detail about this. But the general rule of thumb is you want the charger mounted at shoulder height. And what I found is anywhere from 40 to 50 inches typically is a good height. You also wanna make sure that the location that you're physically mounting the unit is very close to the plug outlet. And this is because as you can see here, the cable that comes with the unit is only about one foot long. So you wanna make sure you have enough distance to mount the unit and plug it in at the same time. Now let's get started with the actual installation step. And the first step in the process is gonna to be to remove this faceplate. So there we go, so that pops right off. And then you can see underneath, there's a second plate, which is gonna reveal the electrical box underneath it. So both of these two plates should come off in the first step here. So now that we have the two face plates removed, the next step is gonna be to line up the unit on the wall and get a general sense of where you wanna mount the charger. So let's take a look at that now. So we can see here if the charger is mounted just a little bit lower in this case that we're going to have enough room to plug it into the outlet. So it looks like we can mount just about right there. So now that we have a general idea of where we're going to be mounting, the next step is going to be to take a level and a pencil and we're going to mark a straight line going down the middle of the unit. We want to make sure that the charger is mounted nice and level and not at some strange angle. So let's do that step now. So here I'm just drawing a line right down the center of the unit just to give us a reference. So the unit gets mounted to the wall using three screws. So let me show you where those locations are now. So if we take a look at the back of the unit, we could see right here, this is a hook feature. So one screw is gonna be on the top and that's gonna provide a hook location for the screw. And then if we take a look on the front of the panel and we, take, we zoom in a bit, you can see that there's two locations where the screws are gonna go. So one of them is right here where I'm pointing with my pencil and then there's another one just below it. So you can see here that the charger comes with the installation template. So what you're gonna do here is line up the center line on the template with the line you just drew on the wall. And then you're gonna mark the two bottom hole locations in the top location here. So let's go ahead and do that step now. Okay, perfect. So now you can see we have our three hole locations drawn here on the wall. 
So one nice feature about the product is that it not only comes with the hardware that's necessary to install it, but it also comes with the bits. So this is a 3 16th drill bit, and that's what we're going to use for the next step. So in this next step, we're going to use the 3 16th drill bit and drill the holes that we just marked on the wall. So the next step is going to be to fasten the top screw into position and we're going to try to leave an eighth of an inch gap between the screw head and the backer plate and that's going to give us something to hook the unit onto. So let's go ahead and do that now. And this is the bit that comes with the charger so you're just going to mount that into the chuck and this is going to be used to fasten the screws down. These are the screws that come with the product. So we're going to go ahead and just do the first screw. So now that we have the top screw fastened into the wood, we're going to take the charger and hook it onto the screw. Okay, perfect. And then once again, using the power drill and the other two screws provided by ChargePoint, we're now going to fasten the screws at the bottom of the unit. Now make sure here that you don't over tighten. The backer plate on here is just plastic, so you don't need to tighten it down extra tight. Just make sure that after you've tightened it that the unit is firm and not moving around. Now one thing not so great about the product is this red wire here that's coming off of the cable is kind of close to where you need to get the drill bit in. So just be careful that when you're tightening the middle screw that you don't bump into the cable or rub against it. Okay. And just like that, the unit is now mounted on the wall. So you might want to just kind of shake the unit, make sure that it's nice and firm and secure, and that it's not wobbling or shifting at all on the wall, and then you're ready for the next step. The charging cable that comes with the unit comes separate from the actual box, and you can see here that we're going to have to make the connection to the box with the wires on this end. You can see here, this is the J1772 plug, and this is a handle that you can connect with a Tesla adapter if you want to charge a Tesla. So you can see here, these are the wires that we're going to make connections with. Here is just a plastic quick disconnect. And then there's a black, red, and green wire that are going to be inserted and then snapped into place. Another thing to note here is this cable clip. So you're going to want to make sure you remove this before you actually feed the electrical wires into the box. And we're going to use that also in a later step. So in order to make these connections, the first thing we're going to want to do is align. There's a tab on the right side and that's going to give us an orientation on how we want the cables to sit and we're going to bunch these all together and feed them through the hole on the bottom of the unit. Once we've done this you can go ahead and make the connection with the quick disconnect so make sure that the flexible prong is facing outwards and towards you and then you're going to take it and press it into place and you should hear it snap now, in terms of the wiring of these wires here, it's going to be green on the left, red in the middle, and black on the right. And what you're going to want to do for this step is take the wires and press them and push them into their respective holes. And then once they're firmly in place and seated all the way touching the back, you could take the white tabs and press those down and that's going to lock them into place. Now the last step for the electrical connection, we're going to take that plastic clip that came with the unit that we took off earlier. We're going to push the strain relief all the way up and into the unit and then using this cable clip and that's going to lock the strain relief in place so that it can no longer move up and down. All right, so in terms of connecting the charger cable to the unit itself, it's really that simple. There's the three cables. Again, 
it goes green, red, black from left to right, and then you're gonna connect the quick disconnect all the way on the right side. It's really important to make sure that you use the cable clip that comes with the unit, and that's gonna prevent the cables from being able to pull out of the unit and make sure the strain relief is nice and tight. The next step is gonna to be to remount the plate that covers the electrical panel. So essentially you're just gonna push it into position and then there's two locations on the left and the right where you can go and use a flathead screwdriver and tighten and lock them into position. So you can see on the back of this panel that there's two locks that are gonna fasten this cover plate over the electrical panel. So let's go ahead and mount that next. There we go. Now this plate is nice and secure and mounted and covering the electrical box. Now we're gonna take the face plate and put this back onto the unit as well. And this should just snap into place, just like that. So now that the unit is mounted on the wall, we can take the plug that it comes with and plug it directly into the outlet. So one nice feature that this charger comes with is a hook shaped feature on the top of the unit and that allows you to take the cable and wrap it around to store it. It also comes with a location to mount the handle. So you can see here you can store the handle by just pressing that into place. One thing that I definitely like about this product is you can see here that the location to store the handle actually pivots and that just makes it easier when you're both inserting the handle or removing it to charge the car. So overall, you can see that the installation process for this unit is pretty simple. And this is something that can be done in just a matter of five to 10 minutes. Obviously the electrical work is something that would take a little bit longer to route that from your panel to the location, but the actual mounting step only takes a few minutes. So now that we've finished the mounting part of the installation, the next step is gonna to be to flip the breaker back on and that'll supply power to the charger. So let's go ahead and do that now. So now that we're mounted on the wall and supplying power to the charger, the next step is gonna to be to connect to the Wi-Fi using the mobile app. So I'm gonna pull up my phone screen here now and show you that setup process. So the first step here is just to download the charge point app from the App Store. And we're going to go ahead and open the app. So in order to connect the app, we're going to sign up and create an account. So once you've input all your information, you should have green check marks everywhere. Click I understand and agree to the privacy policy in terms of service and then click next. This is asking for your phone number to verify your account. So it should send you a four digit code. So you type the code in and just wait a second here. It says your account is verified and okay. So at the bottom, you can see there's a check box that says, I have a charge point home. So we're gonna go ahead and check that and then click next. Um, if you'd like to add a payment method, then you could do that here. But in this case, we're just gonna skip this for now. And you can also add an Apple wallet, but again, we're just gonna skip that step for now. So here you can add an EV and this will allow you to estimate range and cost of charging. So let's go ahead and click add EV. In our case, we have a Tesla and it's a Model Y. Color not available. Okay, so the next step is to click Save. And you can either choose to allow notifications or not allow notifications. For now, let's just skip that and click Next and would like to send notifications, don't allow. You're ready to charge, let's go.
So it says select installation type. How is your charger installed? And in our case, it is a plug-in. In our case, we have a 60 amp breaker. So it's connected to the charger. And now it's gonna look for the Wi-Fi here. So you can select your Wi-Fi. So now you're just gonna go ahead and type in your password and then click join. So it's joining the Wi-Fi network. Now it's gonna show you a location of your house on the map. Click next. So it says some of the benefits are you can schedule charging when electricity is cheapest, set reminders to plug in, or track all of your charges in one place. So we'll click OK. And there we go. So now it says that the charger is ready to charge. If we take a look here at the settings, um, we have the name of the charger, your address, you can add a utility plan, your utilities pricing, the power source, which would be either plugged in or hardwired, the breaker amperage, and if you click on about charger, it'll give you the serial number and model number of your charger. If you need to reconfigure the Wi-Fi, there's a setting for that. Reboot the charger or to reset the unit to factory defaults. You also have the option from the main screen here to remind to plug in. So right now that's set to off, but you can click on reminder and then input a time here. You can also schedule charging. So if you select that option, um, you can select a plan based off of your utility or set a schedule here on weekdays and weekends. So if we go back to the home page and click on the hamburger once again, we could see there's account charging activity. So this will give you a history of any charging that you've done. So, so far there's been no activity. We can also see recently visited locations where we've charged or favorited spots where you've charged. All right, so we officially have both mounted and installed the unit as well as connected to the mobile app through the Wi-Fi. Um, you can see the steps are really easy. The mobile app is super intuitive and walks you step by step through the process. And that went really smoothly and there was no issues. So I definitely appreciate the software end of things. You can see here that when we connected to the mobile app, that the charger is now pulsing a green color and that's showing that we're ready to charge a car. So hopefully this video was helpful to you. Definitely make sure to check out the description below for all the information covered in the video. And if you still have any questions or comments, then make sure to leave those in the comment section below. If you found any value in the video, consider giving the video a thumbs up. And if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, consider doing that to get more electric vehicle content in the future. So thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.